I am Pearl Lakanya Ofori. Our headline story, staff of the electricity company of Ghana demonstrate over plans to cede management of the company to a private entity. We have the details of this headline and more on City News Daily on City TV. Now let's get to the details of our top story and today all regional and district offices of the electricity company of Ghana were closed for three hours 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. This left a number of their customers stranded. This action by staff of the power distributor was to protest against government's decision to cede the management of ECG to a private entity for a period of 25 years. The government has explained that this will ensure efficiency but staff say it will lead to job cuts. Two months ago, staff of ECG demonstrated over the same issue. Today's demonstration was to get government to rescind its decision. Now the ECG staff say they will continue with the demonstration till Friday. We can be quite sure that the controversy surrounding popular Bishop Daniel Obinim is far from over. Just after the police invited him for flogging two adults in his church, the International God's Way Church founder has been arrested for allegedly duping a businessman of over 11 million Ghana cities. This morning, hundreds of church members besieged the premises of the Nima police station in Accra, demanding the immediate release of their pastor. Some of them, clad in red, were seen chanting and praying at the police station. Scores of them also moved from the Nima police station to the police headquarters, insisting the police release their leader. The police resorted to using water cannons and pepper spray to disperse the angry crowd. It is unclear where the preacher has been transferred to, but we'll keep you updated on this particular story. Now let's take your Facebook comments on the story and King Victor Huago says, I think President Mahama and Obinim are fighting for media space. Just when Mahama overtook Obinim with the Muntia 3 yesterday, Obinim has recovered so quickly. Wow. And Francis Doe says, this is only an investigation and look at how some are acting already. Seriously? Well, I hope everything goes well. And make sure you keep your Facebook comments coming on our Facebook page. Now let's take you to the eastern region of Ghana. And have you ever imagined having to sleep on the same mattress for close to 20 years? Well, this is the situation at the Baptist School Complex and Orphanage located at Trotto in the eastern region. The school has never changed any of its mattresses and classroom desks since it was established in 1996. Even though most of the beds are broken and worn out, students are made to share a mattress or some sleep on the floor. In the classrooms, two people occupy a desk, a situation that is affecting teaching and learning. As part of the City Opportunity Project on Education, we are asking you to donate a desk or a bed to put a smile on the faces of these children and your help will go a long way to help them. And that's how we wrap up today's edition of City News Daily on City TV with me, Pearl Akanyo Furi. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your time.